What's up, y'all? This is Jack Triple. Uh, I'm coming to y'all live. Um, I'm in my truck right now. I just want to talk to y'all about some shit, man, real fast. Excuse me, I'm sweating. I just got done with work for the day. But um, I want to talk about provocation. You know, I said I wasn't going to make no more videos, but at a time like this, uh, People don't really listen to me in real life until shit happened. And I said a lot of shit years ago and people just now seeing it. But uh, I think I think black people need to beware of the Turner Diaries. That's what that's what everybody is going off of right now. The white people are playing by the Turner Diaries. Uh, they're using that as their playbook. Uh, over the last couple of weeks. Uh, I think a, a black girl got lit on fire in, uh, I want to say Minneapolis by some white supremacists. Uh, nigga got shot in Seattle, leaving a protest. Uh, I seen some militia in Columbus, Ohio. They was rolling through in a clean station wagon. It looked like they borrowed it for their grandmama, but they pulled, I was at a stoplight. I saw them. And we was right next to each other. And uh, I see the tattoos. And I look inside. They three deep in an old station wagon. Station wagon is clean. Ain't nothing in, the, in there except a box that you could fit three rifles in if you fold them in half. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the next morning I find out them niggas still protesting in Columbus. The guy at the truck stop is like, they're riding. They're the police not here tonight because they're riding. Like, riding? Well, they're protesting. Shut up, white boy. Anyway, uh, motherfucker got lit on fire. Uh, KKK uh, acting like the police in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, it's so much shit going on just all over the place. So, let me tell y'all what's going on. Number one, they're killing protesters. Catch them slipping while they leaving the protest. They got the white, the pro, the pro, the reason the white people joined in, the white liberals joined in the protest was to allow for the right wing militia motherfuckers to move into place. Uh, so that's first of all, and they did. So you've been they've been catching motherfuckers slipping. Um. Uh, I got so much shit to say. I don't. I don't know where to start. I was just gonna freestyle. Uh, so it's two things they're doing: militia is killing protesters, and they're trying to provoke the alphas or the niggas that look like they can fight. Uh, Cause you look at who got shot the last uh, the last month. George Floyd looked like he could fight. Everybody else, look, all them other niggas who got shot by the police, they look like they could fight. So they, and white people got a taste for that. They got a taste for blood. Because they always been scared of alpha or strong niggas like that. And, uh, you know, like my uncle, he told me to go get me some dark sunglasses. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, because niggas gonna, because motherfuckers gonna try me. And, uh, I had, I had on my light sunglasses a while ago. I didn't have on my dark ones. And, uh, I was leaving leaving somewhere and i pull up check it check out with the security guard and a white boy pull ahead of me to check out and he just mean mugging me i'm sitting in my truck minding my business he mean mugging me all the way back all the way back and then when a security guard come out black security guard he uh he said the white the old white man say what what and i i went over there i'm like uh what you want to do, uh, woo, 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 uh, 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 ain't no but space and opportunity, ain't no but space and opportunity. And it was a black woman who chimed in, who kind of dissipated the shit, but they trying to provoke niggas and catch them slipping. I see Tariq sharing a lot of videos, uh, I don't know, he's directly or indirectly sharing videos that show black people being submissive i'm not a camera nigga 
I'm from the 70s. We niggas, if you see a nigga from the 70s, they took one picture a decade and it was in front of their old Chevy Nova or their Buick, you know what I'm saying? So I my first thing is to fight, but I'm so prepared. And what the reason they're doing, I'm sorry, I'm taking a long time. The reason they're trying to provoke is it, it reminds me of this saying that I saw on Stormfront one day. I was reading Stormfront trying to see what they talk about. And this white boy say, it was some white boy had fucked up and he went to jail for a long time. And he was well respected in the white supremacist community. And somebody left a quote, I'll never forget, it say, uh, never take yourself off the battlefield before it's time. And that's what they trying to do. They trying to take, I'm not saying I'm an alpha. Uh, I'm a, uh, I'm a, I've been described as a roughneck. I'm a, I'm not no thug. Uh, I'm a roughneck. I will fight the shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? I'll do some other shit to you too. But they trying to take the tough niggas off the field of battle. That's what white people are doing. These motherfuckers are following me for up to 40 miles in this truck, 60 miles. I'll dip off, act like my truck done broke down. I'll follow them. They'll get up right off at the next exit. They follow me in a store. Like, say the aisles go like this. They'll follow me like this, walking parallel to me. It's even niggas that's doing this. And that make me, that reminds me of what Seti said one time. He called them te maniac test tube niggas. Once y'all, once this shit finally goes down, what's going to be heartbreaking for black people is to realize how many black people are on the other side. And, and it's not, I'm not talking about coons. I'm talking about what, I can't get Seti phrase right, right now, but, uh, these maniac test tube niggas. I met a nigga like that up in Seattle. We gonna talk about that one time. But they trying to provoke niggas and they shoot niggas. They killing niggas, lynching niggas. What y'all need to do is read them three books I told you to. Uh, urban guerrilla warfare, not guerrilla warfare. Urban guerrilla warfare. You need to read Ur Guerrilla Warfare too. Sun Tzu is good, but you need to read on Urban Guerrilla Warfare. It's two books on that. One has to deal with strategy. One has to deal with tactics. Not written by white people. One is called The Mini Manual of the Urban Guerrilla. That's strategy. And one is called Fighting in the Streets. That's a red book, Fighting in the Streets. That's the actual tactics, and I recommend you use these for de defensive measures only. Defensive measures only. All right? Uh, and also, Kwame Nkrumah's book, uh, The Revolutionary Handbook, it's basically guerrilla warfare, to, to, uh, but it's got organized, it tells you how to build your shit up. Um, I'm nervous, not for myself, because I'm. I'm pure. I'm I'm solid. Like if somebody fuck with me, you know that, that they they picked the wrong day. I might go to I might go to jail if I feel if I feel like going to jail. But I'm nervous for black people because I can't see where they at. I can't tell if black people are still on point or or what they doing because the gays done took the shit over. The gays. I, I'm so anti. I can't believe they doing this shit at a time like this because they don't see or they do see the repercussions of what's going to happen. But it's going to be like drum where that nigga say, if it wasn't all my life, if, I, if it wouldn't been for you all my life, uh, I, I, I ain't supposed to be no slave. I would have got caught. I wouldn't have got caught if it wasn't for you. And then at the end, they put that nigga Ken Norton in the fucking pot. Boy, this bitch ass. But uh, I got a lot to say. It's so much stuff to say. But you need to have a verbal response ready. And you need to decide, which I've been fasting. I've been trying to decide, am I going to jail or am I just going to say fuck it? I don't want to be off the battlefield because I have a lot of valuable information mili militarily 
that can help a lot of people when this does go down. Uh, but at the same time, they testing me every day, testing me every day, but they always doing it around cameras. But I say, if you can ever draw a white person 50 to 100 yards away from a camera, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You gotta figure that shit out in your head. Draw them motherfuckers out to where you, you pick the battleground. I got into it with another white boy. He tried to pick the battleground. Nope, I wiped my hands of it. Kept on going. It's, it's a guerrilla warfare tactic too. Even if you're gonna get into it with somebody. If they try to draw you like the white man who who tried to draw me to that, draw me to him to get me outside of the truck. I went to the edge of my truck and beef with him and put him to a decision. Like in poker, you put a decision, you put somebody to a decision for all of their chips. That's what I do with white people verbally and physically. I put them at a decision for their life. Do you want to live today? Do you want to go home? Or do, or, or, or do you want to go home? Or do you not want to go home? That's what it's going to be. Uh, y'all, uh, get y'all some military tactics. Help me pray. My mama. Uh, get all this security I done bought for her. I done bought her a whole security system. She don't want to. Whatever. Y'all pray for a nigga. Uh, I've been spiritually. I did the 21 day fast with. Uh, 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 Umar, I feel like the ancestors or whoever somebody showed me a lot, uh, that was that was really good. But um, don't let no white people behind you. Don't let them lead you from in front. If you see a white person two times, they probably follow you. A lot of these white people are two and three deep civilians you have one one car on this side of the parking lot one person on that side of the parking lot white bitch walked up to me started talking to me the shit didn't seem right i faded her she backed out her dude backed out two different cars peeled out there's a lot of shit going on uh i i get up with y'all later man it make up in your mind or uh, do you want to do you want to live die do you want to go to jail for freedom uh so that's what it's gonna come down to don't let these motherfuckers fool you ain't no law gonna fix it uh white i mean slavery was legal uh i mean would you let i, I don't know they don't have no laws for for freedom. It, <laughs> they don't. They have laws against murder, but white people murder niggas every day. You be, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they got laws against this shit. So uh, you know we got to stop acting like children. Uh, like Dr. Ben say, as long as you a child in your master's house, you got to follow his rules. Uh, I think it's time we act like grown ups. And uh, I'm I'm ready to die. I'm I'm not where I where I want to be financially. I'm there militarily. I'm there physically. Um, I just the conundrum I'm in is my mama old. I don't want to break her heart when she old. But at the same time, what about these little kids, my little cousins, my little cousins, my little ninos, my little cousins and cousinettes, man, they so cute. I know I wouldn't wish this life on the worst. Yeah, I will work with. I don't want I don't want kids going through all this. Uh, they they don't deserve it. So we gotta die. Let's go ahead and die like men. Uh, it's not worth living one more day of this hellhole. So, when y'all ready to die like me, uh, shit, fuck it. Let's organize. Y'all hit me up. I'm not hard to find. I'm not hard to contact. Just be transparent. I'll be transparent. Peace and blessings, man.